hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and in this one i'm going to build here one end to end natural language processing project so for that you're going to use here the data set that's called fake news detection and at the last of the video you're going to build here one web application using streamlit so this is the data set that you're going to use here from kaggle and this is our data set descriptions so it have one two three four five it have the five feature or you can the five class and you can see here that's our data set so train.csb and test.csb so that discuss about that the labels so one mean the unreliable and the reliable right so what i'm going to do here we are going to actually download the data set from here and then after that we are going to use here the nlp technique to build our model so after downloading the data set i also extract the file and i got here one csv file so now I'm going to do the coding part in a Jupyter Notebook. You can also do it on VS Code or PyCharm itself. So I'm going to open my Jupyter Notebook. So for that, I need to go on the CMD and type here Jupyter Notebook. And it will open the Jupyter Notebook in my local host. So well, so my Jupyter Notebook is right now opening on my local host. So now I'm going to click here and create a new Python file. And one empty Python file is created. So let's rename this file name. So let's say model training. Well, and let's give here one underscore and make it rename. Okay, fine. So now we need to actually import the data set from our directory. So for that, we are going to import here the pandas. So let's say import pandas as pd. Right? Enter. Shift enter the shortcut key, or you can also press the run button from the shell. So we are going to actually load the data set and our data set name is train.csv. So let's say df equal to pd.readcsv. Okay. And we need to actually put here the data set path. So it's on our same folder that our Jupyter notebook file is actually situated. So that's why you're going to actually use here the actual path. So let's say train.csv. And now if I'm trying to see it, df.hat, let's say uh, we are going to take a look the five root and column so you can see here the the data set it's having the five okay it's at the five class or you can say five feature okay so so using this hat if i give you the 10 you can also see the 10 uh 10 activities okay of the data set okay so let's make it null and you can see as it is five well so now let's see the data set description. So let's say df dot describe. Okay, well, so you can see here the ID and the label are nothing but the it's it's numerical value, not the continuous one. That is not a string, so that's why it's showing up the two value, ID and the label, and all of them are string. So that's why this describe method is not actually showing up the string one. So let's say df dot info. Let's Let's have a look at our data set, how it looks like. Okay. So it's our ID. So it's one integer. Title is one object. And author is one object. Fine. Text is also one object. And label is an integer. Okay. So it have the 20,800 data. That's 800 level. And you can see here, but the text and the label is not actually... Uh, not actually same right so that's mean maybe they have some missing value so you need to also dealing with the missing value in the data set so that's why what i'm going to do here you're going to check that if there is a missing value or not so if there is a missing value you can actually uh, fill them with null so let's say df dot is null let's make it sum okay i have the problem of some okay it should be is null and this should be all functions right so you can see here id zero that's it don't have any null value title have this one author have this one and text have 39 oh god my god let's have 39 missing value right so what i'm going to do here we are going to uh fill all the value with one empty string so it's better because this is one llp tux so if you are you can also remove the value from here but it's not a good practice to remove the value or remove the column itself so it's better you can actually fill with some value like mean or mode or median value but in the NLP cases, it's better you can actually fill it with entry string, right? So for that, what I'm going to do here, we are going to actually fill with null value, the fill the null value with the entry string. So let's say df equal to df dot fill null 
that's been filling the null value with one empty string so now if i'm trying to check the uh, is null so that's the is null and dot sum and now you can see here no null value is actually appeared on here all the value are getting null is actually replaced with the entry string right so this is called the pre-processing part in the nlp this is more similar with some data that you are working on the machine learning right so now what we're going to do we need just the text and the label we don't need the title and the author so that's not a feature right that's not my feature okay so this is also called the feature selection so we, we actually already see that if we actually give here one tax based on the tax we are going to actually get here one level so we need to just predict the level right based on the tax so that's why we're going to remove this title id and author we don't need it we don't need it so for that what i'm going to do here we are going to drop them so let's say df dot drop so drop so which one we're going to drop so we can also check them let's say uh, df dot column okay so you can also check the columns using this one df dot columns so you're going to remove this uh, this one ids and which one ids and the title and the author we're just going to remove them or you can say drop them so let's cast it on here and drop so based on the drop you're going to actually drop it from the axis number one so you're going to drop them right you're going to just drop them and put it inside our data frame okay now if i'm trying to feed df and you can see here the data frame you can also sorry for that i'm so sick so that's why so now you can see here the data frame is actually appeared on here df you can also use the df dot hat okay so it will show you the number index number and also the text and also the level okay so now what i'm going to do here we are going to uh make this text into into some vector but before making it vector we need to also remove the stop word okay for removing the stop word we are going to use here the library that's called the nltk okay so you need to also import it here before converting the tags into vector we need to also remove the stop words so that's what we need to use here the nltk right so now you're going to actually use here the port prototype streamer to actually remove the stop word so well our data preprocessing part is done right now so now we need to convert this text into vector but before making it vector we need to also remove the stop word so in order to remove the stop word you're going to use here another library that's called nltk so we need to also import it so let's say from nltk nltk dot corpus we are going to import here the stop word okay let's call it stop words so using the stop word we can actually remove the stop word like let's say hi this is chando so it will actually remove this this is because this is one stop word in the alphabet so it will just remove this hi this is and it actually store this the actual value and after that we can actually convert it into the vector right so you need to also use here another technique that's called the uh, streamer so for that you need to also import it from the nltk so let's say nltk okay nltk dot steam okay dot steam that's what it's called this steam dot if you are if you need to any, any suggestions that's me it will actually auto suggest to you you can also use the tab button from your keyboard if you are using the jupyter notebook so let's say portal we are going to import here the steam portal sorry portal stream again tab you can see it automatically done right portal stream so we actually import here this two module so one is from analytica.corpus you need to import here the stop words and another one is called a portal streamer to make the vector or more the tags in the stream format right so now what i'm going to do here we are going to actually initialize or create an object of the portal streamer so let's say port stream equal to portal streamer okay so let's say portal streamer if i trying to see this portal streamer so this is one objects this is one objects okay this one simple class objects so now what we're going to do here we are going to define one of functions so this function actually help us to remove the stop words from the text so now what you need to do here we need to first create here one functions so which can remove the stop word and also make them in a stream so let's use this portal stream right now and after that we're going to make the functions so let's say port stream how we actually work let's see let's say port stream dot stream and you're going to pass here one simple word let's say hi this is chando 
right enter and you can see here it actually convert them into the lowercase letter okay if I actually make it let's say I and you can see here it make them in a lowercase letter let's say add here some regular expressions like that okay it's not working and this one and let's say at the rate so it's not actually remove this one we need to also remove this regular expression if I'm trying to predict them if I try to predict them we need to make it clean so for that we need to also import here another library that's called the uh, re that's called regular expressions so also import it let's say import re so these are regular expressions and using this you can actually remove the regular expression and also remove the stop word so now let's define the functions so let's say gap is steaming and as a parameter we're going to pass here the content that's our content and what I will do here, we are going to now remove the regular expression from here. So for that, we actually use here the re module. So let's re dot sub. So we're going to remove the expression from which part to which part. We're going to remove the uh, regular expression from small a to the small z and capital a to the capital z and also the empty string. We're going to just remove that from the content. So now we are going to use here this sign, tube sign to the small a to the small z and capital A to the capital Z and also the empty string okay and you need to pass in the content from the content so let's assign into the variable let's call con then we are going to actually make this content in a lowercase letter so let's say con dot lower and also you can split them so let's say con equal to con dot split and now what I'm going to do here, we are going to actually use this protein stream. So for that, we are going to use here the lambda functions. So it's better we are just using this function again, 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 and actually remove the uh, stop word from the each word. That's means from each sentence, you're going to just remove these stop words, that's the regular expressions, and also make it lower and split them into one single vector, single, single word, and you're going to actually perform the streaming. That's in this protein stream, right? So for that, what I'm going to do here, you're going to create here one lambda functions. So let's say, let's say porter, that's mean this porter uh, port stream dot stream, and you're going to give here the word. So this word is coming from the for loop. So let's say for word, uh, word in this content, that's mean from this content, you're going to just use this word. So let's say content, that's in con. So you're going to just iterate to all the value from the con if not word okay if not word in stop word that's if not a stop words dot word so the word should be in english word so let's say english and now we are going to actually uh, use here the portal stream if this word is english we can actually uh, use this as a stop word and you're going to pass it inside our portal stream, right? Now, what we're going to do here, we are going to actually store it inside the variable that's called the con, right? So let us store the variable in the con. So let's say con equal to this lambda function. Now, after that, we are going to actually uh, return this con, that's in our steaming con, as the function, as a function return type, right? So, and after that, we need to also join them with our actual content so let's say uh, we are going to join them using the empty string let's say join using the join method and after that we're going to actually pass with the con let's say this con and also let's say this con okay and now we need to also return them so let's say return the con this con okay enter so if i'm trying to actually use this theming so let's say call it and let's say i'm going to add here the this same text let's say hi this is chando and you can see here hi chando okay like that you can actually get here the hi chando okay let's make it a space so that we can actually get here some space okay you can see here hi chando sorry for my bias because i am not actually speaking here clearly so that's why sometimes it's actually happening or disgusting okay so hi chando like that so now we need to actually perform it inside our whole value of the text so for that what i'm going to do here we are going to use here df dot text we are going to apply it inside our data frame so let's say text and you're going to apply it so let's say apply and you're going to apply it 
which what we are going to use here this steaming right we're going to just use it these steaming functions okay let's enter it and also store it the same data frame so let's say this data frame text okay where is it this one and you see the text okay like that and now enter so it will take few minutes it's maybe take or 10 minute or 12 minute or 20 minutes it's up to any machines because it will actually taking all the text from the data set and it will convert them into this protein streamer so that's why it take time so i will get back again and it is done and after that you're going to actually build here our model and also you're going to also test it out in our in our in our in our real time scenario data right so it's take the one hour long time to actually pre-process the whole data from our data set so now what we're going to do here we're going to divide the data into dependent and the independent feature so for that let's say x x should be the dependent feature and y should be the independent feature so x should be the df dot text that's our text and our y is nothing but our level that's mean our target class right so let's say uh, y equal to y equal to df dot so df not should be dot it should be the third bracket and that should be the level okay so now if i'm trying to check the shape of that x dot shape and this is our shape and if i'm trying to check the wider shape and you can see this is our wider shape right so now what i'm going to do here we are going to actually divide them into train test and split that's when you are going to divide the data set into 80 by 20. so for that we need to also import here from the scalar so let's say from a scalar dot model selections we are going to import here the train test and split okay that's called train test and split well so now we are going to uh, divide them into train test and split and based on that 20% of data set you can actually use here 25% of the data set so let's say train test is split just to call this method and pass here the dependent and the independent feature and your test size so your test size let's say give here 0 0.20 that's your test size now we are going to store it into the four variable so that's called x train and the y train and another one is called the x test and another one is called the y test right so now what we're going to do here we are going to feed them using the tfid vectorizer right so now what we're going to do here we're going to actually make them into one vector right so for that we need to actually import it the vectorizer and also create here one uh, object of that so let's say from sklearn it should be on the inside the sklearn sklearn dot uh, it should be the feature extraction inside the feature extraction dot text okay in, inside the text we are going to import here the tfidf okay tfidf vectorizer and also you can see here the transformer so we are going to use here the vectorizer one now we need to create here one instance so let's say bact equal to tfidf vectorizer this vectorizer well so well now what we're going to do here we're going to now convert them into the vector so for that you need to use the back dot uh, feed transform so first you need to feed the transform of the x train data and after that you need to also transform the data of the x test right so just going to copy this and going to pass it here and make it x test let's assign the variable let's call the x train and also the x test right enter okay got error okay lower not found why we got this error oh oh shit 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 so this should be the x test and this should be the y train and the y test so that's why we got this one because this label is nothing but one numerical value so that's why so now if i am run the code here and the shell is must be executed well so the shell is right now executed that's fine now okay let's make it transform we don't need to make it transform fit here because you already fit it right okay again lower not found so i think i need to run this shell again uh then it will gone mm, just a few minutes yep right now it's gone so it transform the data so now what we need to do here we actually uh split the data and you also draw the vectorizer 
and now you need to check that the shape of that data so let's say x train dot shape so there should be the x train dot shape so this is our new shape and also let's test it out for the x test well so this is our new shape for the x test so now what i do here we need to actually now you see the algorithm so which algorithm are you going to use here so well so now you need to actually choose the algorithm so for that we can use here the gcc tree and in the later one you need to build here the lstm model using the deep learning technique right now we can just use here the traditional machine learning technique to actually feed the data so now we're going to import here from sklearn dot tree we are going to import here the decision tree classifier okay because this is one classification tax so that's why we're going to use here the decision tree classifier if it is a regression tax if the value is a continuous we can actually use here the decision tree regression right so now we need to create here one object of that so let's say model equal to decision tree that's mean this decision tree classifier so now what i'm going to do here we are going to you need, do need to put it zero okay so now we can actually now we're going to feed the data so let's say model dot feed so we are going to model the feed the data based on the x tray and the y tray right we're going to feed the data based on the x tray and the y tray right then what are we do here we are going to actually predict the value right so well we feed the data already so now we need to predict it let's say model dot predict and we're going to pass here the x test and now let's assign into the variable let's call predictions okay shift enter and it will execute it so now if i'm trying to see the predictions and it will one kind of matrix or you can say error right so now we can also check that the model accuracy so let's say model dot score so we are going to test it based on our x test data and the y test data right so you can see here we got the 88 percent accuracy that's fine so if i'm trying to uh make the size should be the 20 20 percent of the data and again run the shell here and let's see the output or you can see the accuracy so this model accurate score is nothing but call the model accuracy so we got the accuracy nothing but 88 percent that's fine so now what are you going to do here we are going to now save the model okay so how you save the model in the machine learning or deep learning we just need to save the model file but in this natural language processing we need to also store the vector file also this vector file right so for that what i'm going to do here first we're going to import here the pkl so let's import here the pkl then you can see here we got the 88 percent accuracy that's fine okay so now we need to actually store the pkl file as a dump right so let's say pkl pkl dot dump so you need to actually store the pkl version of vector and also the model file that's mean this model right so this our model this decision tree model so now first you're going to actually store the vector file so that's our backed and you're going to store into into in the right mode so you need to actually give here one file name so let's say this is our backed file so let's say vector file dot pkl and which mode we are going to store it into the right mode okay now if i'm trying to shift and enter and it will actually dump this vector file in our directory so now we need to dump the vector file of our model file so this our model file and it will actually give you the model so that's one model in the right mode okay so i'm going to dump the file here and it will store in inside our directory already so now what i'm going to do here we're going to load the pkl file from our directory so for that what i'm going to do here we're going to load them so let's say pkl dot load and you're going to just load in and let's open it in the right mode so first open our vector file so let's open our vector.pkl file so vector.pkl in a read mode so let's say rb in a read mode well so it is on tfid vectorizer okay so let's assign into the variable that's called vector okay let's say vector from okay fine now we need to also load our model file that's our decision tree classifier model so this is our model or pkl file okay so let's say this is our load model so we can actually uh, if this script is actually invisible or if you just you forget it you just have the model file you can actually use it anywhere on your system you can use it in another another laptop or another desktop 
you can actually use it right so for that we can save it in a pickle format so now what i'm going to do here we already load the model and we also load the vector form now we are going to define here one function and based on the function we can actually classify them this news is a fake or a real one right so let's say def let's say fake news we're going to just define here one functions so which one take one news and you passed what are you going to do here we're going to first uh, convert them the tags into the stream right this mean this stream uh this stream we need to also do the preprocessing as same that we actually preprocess the data and streaming we need to pass here the news okay so let's assign into the same area that's called news we just make it streaming we are going to remove the stop words and also the regular expression from here now we are going to actually make it one array so let's say we are going to make it let's say news in array so let's say news and just we're going to make it in a in an array format let's say this is our input data okay so now after that we are going to now we're going to convert the data into the vectorizer that we actually do so let's say vector from this vector from dot transform transform the data into the, the, the vector using this vector from that you already save it and you're going to just pass here the input data that's our input data so this is our back from so let's say vector vector form okay this is our vector form let's make it vector from one and now after converting them into the vector form we need to predict the vector form right so we are going to predict the vector form using the load model file that's it so this one load model dot predict we're going to actually pass here the data file that's our vector from file that's it simple vector from and now we're going to assign it to the variable that's our predictions right so now after that you're going to return that so let's say return the prediction okay fine so now we need to call this function this fake news okay this fake news and we need to give here one news so let's give here the news so we need to actually use here the three column so we can actually pass with the news from here so let's go on the excel file and copy here one news well so let's copy the first one so this is the text and library is nothing but one so let's go on the Jupyter notebook so well i am going to paste it here and just enter okay so we'll give you the error one that's been this is nothing but called one the it's where it's one fake image fake news okay if i get here zero so there should be the one real image that's been the real news they actually discuss on here so one means the unreliable and this is the reliable okay so now let's copy here another text okay let's copy the which one uh let's go down okay so let's copy this text and this is zero the label is nothing but zero and let's remove this and going to paste here this one and shift enter and you can see you got the array as a zero that's mean this is one real image real news right why i'm actually talking about the image so this is one news right so we can also store into the variable so let's say bell and after that we can actually see it so array is nothing but zero so let's say if the bell is if the bell equal equal to zero so this is the reliable okay this is the reliable so i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to print it here let's say this one print the reliable and else just we're going to print it the unreliable okay like that unreliable well so this is a reliable news right so now what are going to do here we are going to actually uh, converting this model file that's been this whole file into one stream lit applications right so for that we need these functions we need also these functions which one these functions and also we need the vector right that's been this this model file and also these vector file right so let's go on here so well so now let's create here one python file let's say app.py and i'm going to pass here some code so this is really very simple we just actually copy the two functions from our model training file on the Jupyter notebook from the from the file 
and also what i'm going to do here we are going to actually load the model file that you already saved here so you also load it using the pkl module and also we actually import the necessary module and also the streamlit so this is the streamlit uh the module or you can say library in python it actually help us to building a machine learning model without doing the html or css if you do it in flux you need to just create your more static or you need to create your template and blah 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 right but in a split you just need to write here five or seven lines of code and it will actually give here one beautiful ui so that's why i'm just going to use here the stream lead for the deployment purpose right you can actually use here the flux also that's fine so you can see here we actually import the necessary module and we also load the pickle file that's in our model file vector file and the model file and we also just copy these functions in our model training file okay this is our model training so if i go down you can see here this fake news you just copy these and the streaming functions right so simple and also the fake news this fake news you should already do it in the texting part of our of our model training part and now what i'm going to do here we are going to just this is the main part we are going to create here one main functions or the main method and inside the main method we have the st.title that's our title of our applications and at here one subheader then what I can do here, we're going to actually add here one text area. So it will take the input from the users. You, you, need, you need to just put here the your news. Just mean if I go down, you can see here this our text, or you can see history. We just take it from the users as a text box. And we also create here one button. And if the button is clicked, we need to call this function, the fake news. And this fake news taking the news as argument. And you need to just pass in the sentence. And we can get here on predictions. So the prediction is a zero it is a reliable and otherwise it the uh, unreliable right you can see here like that simple really very simple don't worry about the code you can get the code and the descriptions as a github link right so now we need to actually run the file but this stream light how you actually run the file you don't need to put here the python app.py if you run the file python file terminal you will have to put here the python app.py but in a stream lead, it is actually give you the error because if you're trying to run the stream lead file so you need to actually uh use here okay this should be the pkl not okay this should be model.pkl and this should be the vector.pkl right and if you actually run this file like python app.by and it actually give you the error because this is one stream lead so that's why you need to actually use this command stream lead run app.py and it also run in the new local host and it will open on your browser so let's open it in the browsers okay it actually opening my microsoft edge so let's make it here big and you can see here fake news classification apps and input the news content below and enter your news comment here if you click at the predict and it is called unreliable because i just put here some news and this is nothing but uh this is nothing but the fake news right so that's why so now let's actually add here some newses and test it out so let's go on the this one i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here i'm going to click on the predict so this is a reliable okay this is one real images just in real uh, news let's copy another one okay let's go here let's copy this one so this is one unreliable text let's click on predict well it's working fine so well so our streamlight application is right now running and now we are going to actually add here some news content and click hit the predict button and it will give here the output so let's copy some text from the, our csv file so let's copy the file from here so this is the first one right so this is number one so this is called unreliable i'm just going to copy that and going to paste it on our applications okay just going to paste it here and test it out so click and predict and you can see here this is called unreliable right so let's copy here the another text so let's copy uh, let's copy which one uh, this one the reliable text this is not a fake news so let's copy this out 
and again go to the, our applications and I'm going to paste it here and click here to predict so you can see here this is the real level text that's really fine so you can test the news from your test file also I just going to test it on the trading file so in the data set you have the test.csv file also you can also just copy the text copy the news and also test it out in the applications so that's it for today now hope you enjoyed the tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to subscribe this and share with your friends